What's going on YouTubers? It's the Natural Born Thriller. And welcome everyone to WWE Smackdown Review, the show from January 29th, 2019. They were at Phoenix, Arizona. Your commentators were Tom Phillips, Byron Saxton, and Corey Graves. This was the Smackdown after the Rumble. And all I gotta say about the show, folks, is that this show, I didn't watch the entire show. Because of all, oh, based on what they did on, on the show with Shinsuke Nakamura, and which is why I'm wearing the cap, the t-shirt, the the leather jacket, which by the way, it's st strong style has arrived. This all, this matter review is in honor of how they treated Shinsuke Nakamura on this show. And you're probably wondering, um, why, for those who haven't, haven't been watching. Well, I'm gonna run through the, um, everything happening on SmackDown first. When I get to that, once I get to that, to that part. So the show opened up with Becky Lynch. She comes out and addresses, um, um, you know, confronting Ronda Rousey on Monday Night Raw and choosing her to face her at WrestleMania because she won the Rumble. And she talks about how Ronda Rousey's promo that she cut her against her about her main, main eventing, um, uh, her her um events from when, when she was in UFC. And, she, and Becky Lynch talks about she's worked so hard and uh, from work from re wrestling on last year's WrestleMania pre-show, which you know she was on the, that on that battle royal, to main eventing this year's WrestleMania. And also, when Charlotte Flair comes out, she comes out in applauding, and she has that stupid smile on her face. I hate, I fucking hate when she does that too. Always got a, a smile on her face, never take anything seriously, which is why I can't fucking stand Charlotte Flair anymore. Every, every, whenever she cuts a promo, she always smiles. Whenever um. Someone's confronted her, you know, to cut her promo against her. She always smiles. She, it, it, it never ends with it, um, with, with her. She looks like a fucking clown, by the way, with, with, with all that makeup on her face. But she came out there and she tried to uh, take credit for Becky Lynch, for for everything that Becky Lynch uh, has accomplished um, in in WWE, and talks about and basically uh, talks about how yeah you know, she was she was not even officially in the Rumble, and. And also, um, you know, talks about how, how proud and happy she is for her and all that. Well, well she sure she showed sure that because she keeps smiling every fucking time. But but then Becky Lynch punches her, punches her right? And I'm like, good. Punch, punch her in the face. Like, and then all of a sudden Becky Lynch leaves and then Charlotte Flair attacks from um, on the rampway. And they start brawling. And then the referee comes out, you know, the officials comes out and a break, um, pull apart. Charlotte Flair is mocking her of her limping and everything. This is what I'm being. Yo, you're you're supposed to be uh you're 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 supposed to be um angry that she punched you in the face and um and then you um you you and you um while while this whole pull apart is happening between these two, you know, Becky Lynch try to get to her and Be and Charlotte Flair is mocking her and laughing at her, smiling at her like, fuck you, Charlotte Flair. And that was that. Then we get to um R Truth and Carmella coming out. Archie talks about how Nia Jax uh, jacked her up for taking her taking his spot from the Rumble, and Carmella uh, talks about how they work hard, you know, for uh, for uh, wrestling in the mixed match challenge, you know, which I call it the mixed trash on um, garbage to get that number three spot. And Archie says something about you know he was he went he went from rapping to napping, <laughs> you know, because you know he's a rapper and he raps, you know, and he and he, he's, he's got rhymes so. And he, and he talks about how if he if Nightjax would have done what he did, I mean, if Nightjax would never done what, what she did to our truth, he would have won the rumble. <laughs> yeah, right. So the McMahon's uh decided, you know, to give him uh, a consolation prize. And what's that consolation prize is? To go out to the United States Championship against Shinsuke Nakamura. Now they didn't actually say consolation prize, but Corey Graves on commentary did say consolation prize. So I was and before you know before Curry gets in and said that too. I, I thought in my mind. So this is on you know, this is R two's consolation prize for not entering the Rumble, gaining a United States Championship title shot. So we get we get to this match between Shinsuke Nakamura defending his WWE United States Championship after winning it back um back in the the Rumble pre-show against Rusev. He goes up against R two and defends the title. So the match happens and they went to commercial break and they come back from commercial break. Just minutes later, uh, in the commercial break, R two uh, rolls up Shinsuke after going for a signing from his carry. Well, where, where, where Nakamura was trying to go, uh, do 
So R2 counters. Rose up R uh, Nakamura. Uh, and and then, um, you know, referee's counting. And Nakamura kicked out too. But the referee still counted to three. And Nakamura lose the match after a two count. Clearly, it was a fucking two count. And who else refereed that match? A long time referee since the 90s, Mike Kyoto. Who's now known as a, 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 a veteran, uh, a, 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 as a referee in WWE. Very close to being a senior referee at, at this point. Clearly, Shinsuke Nakamura kicked out at, at two. But referee Mike Kyoto still counted to three and rewarded R Truth the winner of the United States Championship. And, and from there, I, I was I didn't know what to uh, what um, I didn't know how to react after that until they, um, they brought they brought Rusev. Rusev Finale comes out and Rusev says something about you know Nakamura is undeserved of being United States champion and and that he's better than Nakamura and he's and he basically challenges our truth to a match and also Carmella and Lana started getting uh, uh you know physical. So R Truth and um Rusev start uh, uh gave a little physical at, at one point. And then the um R Truth decides to uh, defend the title against Rusev. And and, and referee uh, Mike Kyoto was there to uh, make the match official. And from there, I was like, fuck this show. I, I after that after that, I turned off the show of SmackDown because because of that. At this point folks, I will I was so pissed off that I, I was like I was like fuck this shit. I was like fuck SmackDown and, and fuck how they how they train Shinsuke Nakamura. Fuck how they train R Truth. Fuck how they train Rusev. Fuck how they train everyone else in, in the company as well. So yeah, at at this point, I didn't I didn't care about the, the rest of the show anymore. Now, I did watch the highlights of SmackDown after that. But after what they did to Shinsuke, I, 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 had, I had to stop watching. And sure, Danny Bryan is the WWE champion, and I, you know, I want, I want to see how his title run is, is going. And, I, and I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm still gonna watch SmackDown though, you know. But I couldn't watch the rest of the show of SmackDown after, after how they treated Shinsuke Nakamura on this, uh, on the show. This was absolute fucking bullshit. And this is why I'm wearing the, um, the colors of Nakamura right now, you know, and also the hoodie too. Of Shinsuke, because this was fucking bullshit. This was absolute fucking bullshit. Uh, how how Nakamura just lost that belt in two a two count. He clearly kicked out. And at this point, I want Nakamura to just get the fuck out of there. Shinsuke should not be in WWE anymore. And they wanted him to be in there in the, in the first place three years ago. Three years ago, when I first heard that Nakamura was going to WWE, I was worried. I was worried how they was going to treat him. I was worried how how they was gonna unbook him, and and sure enough, look at look look how look look how they unbook they're booking Nakamura ever since he came to the main roster. For two years, he's been in the, on the main roster, and he's been and, and look what happened with him. He, they haven't beat John Cena to get a shot against Jinder Mahal for the title and lost, and then they um haven't beat um uh, Randy Orton to get a title uh, a title against um you know Mahal again and lost. Haven't been a Survivor Series to be the first guy eliminated. From from uh, from Team Raw versus Team SmackDown, they haven't won the Rumble, only for him to lose at WrestleMania, and then and then and on top of that, turn him heel. And you think to yourself, you know, and I, me also thinking maybe, maybe this, this will uh, have him win the title uh, as a heel, you know, to cheat to win. And he couldn't even do that. He still lost. And what was the consolation prize? Give him the national championship um, by being Jeff Hardy in seconds. And then do nothing with him as being United States champion with the whole welcome to. United States of Knock America and done nothing with him, uh, with, with him being United States champion and not even do um any sec you know to do segments of him of 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 the United States of Knock America. And then we get to this point where he won he won the United States title from Rusev. Well, he lost to Rusev uh during the Christmas episode. Uh, and then and then we get to the Red Rumble of the pre-show. He wins the United States title, only, only for him to lose it two nights later against R Truth. And this has nothing to do with R Truth. This has something to do with how they're booking uh, these their, their talents right now. One of the reasons why I don't want I, I, I don't want to watch this shit anymore.
and the whole thing was Shinsuke Nakamura is going to be leaving pretty soon. We haven't even got a, a, a TV match or at least a pay-per-view match between Shinsuke Nakamura versus Daniel Bryan. Shinsuke Nakamura coming to WWE is the reason why. I mean, Shinsuke Nakamura, um, you know, and Daniel Bryan, that match that, that, we, that we all want to see is the reason why that Shinsuke came to WWE in the first place, and we still haven't gotten that. Oh yeah, sure. People um that that were, um um that watched that watched it after SmackDown went off the air, um they got to they got to see it. But what about the rest of us? We have, we haven't seen it. What about, what about the rest of us? You know, what about, what about the rest of us that wasn't there at that at that show at the SmackDown went off the air for that um that match that happened? You know that dark match that Nakamura and and Daniel Bryan had. What, what what about the rest of us that haven't that haven't seen it? That was the only main reason why Nakamura came to WWE. It's because he wants that dream match against Daniel Bryan. And we're, not, and we're never going to get that. We're never going to get that. And it's a fucking shame. So, so basically, r um, not how, how can I move on after this? So, so yeah, r uh goes up against Rusev for the title. And 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 you know, in, in a matter of seconds, R2 rolls him up, rolls the Rusev up, which I I saw again. I saw the highlights of SmackDown of it at, afterwards, and Ru and that and that roll up was was garbage, and Rusev lost because of that. And then after the match, R2 gets attacked by Shinsuke, and Shinsuke brings him back back into the ring. Rusev uh, attacks R2, and all of a sudden, the two guys, you know, Rusev and, and Nakamura, has been feuding since December, for the, for the United States Championship. You know, the whole thing with Rusev blaming Nakamura for for hurting Lana and all, and all that. And then, uh, and and they'll happen on the pre-show too as well, where Nakamura is also on bl blame for uh for Lana getting hurt too, which you know, not true. Um, you know, if you've seen the pre the pre-show match, you you know what I'm talking about. But so Rusev and Nakamura, after um they've been hating each other for for the past two months, they also team up on 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 our truth. What? Who the fuck is writing this bullshit? But we'll get more. We'll get more of that when I, when I get to this part. Uh, when, I, when I get to um to our, well, I'll get to more of that when I get to um after after the, these parts. Becky Lynch uh gets in her car. She she wants to leave because uh she wants she just wanna um she she want to see any uh you know uh any she want any medical attentions for uh of of, of the she was, basically she was uh, stopped by uh Killer Braxton, and she says uh she doesn't want to be on the shelf again. So that's why she's she left. So we get Rey Mysterio Jr. versus Samoa Joe, which never happened because Selena Vega came up, come out and blames on um, Rey Mysterio Jr. for uh for banning her at ringside from that from the last SmackDown episode, you know, last week's SmackDown, because um Mysterio uh is is, distra is distracted of Selena Vega, and I'm like, well, let's be honest, um uh, anyone could be distracted for uh Selena Vega or, or what she's wearing, you know, because she's, she's she's freaking hot, but still, um, so the Andrade in on this uh, attacks Rey Mysterio Jr. from behind. Uh, he does the three amigos, but Mr. Uh, stops, uh, um, stops the third ten of it. He basically reversed the third suplex of it, I meant to say. Uh, uh, and then Andrade, uh, stops Mr. with the 619 and gets him the, the Hamlock DDT, which I call it, I call it the La Sombra. You know, which is, um, that's, that's his wrestling name, um, before Kim coming to WWE when he was, when he was wearing the mask, but still. Um. But yeah. Um, and that was that. So that it's gonna be um it's, that's gonna be the feud for Mysterio and Andrade for uh whenever they 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 um do that main that main event at the pay, at, at, you know, at a pay per view this time. But we'll see. So let me get Rusev backstage. He's been confronted by the um the Good Brothers, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. It was probably they should they should leave too by the way. Um, they've been there for three years too, and they're, um and they're. I guess they went for that contract to expire, which I heard is gonna be either on April or somewhere around September. Which you know they they you know Gallows and Anderson they they deserve better too. The way the way that the WWE should train them is bullshit too. So Rusev uh, has been confirmed by these guys, and they and they uh you know say that you know attacking our truth was not right. You know a two on two, uh, I mean a two on one, uh beatdown was 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 not fair for our truth. You know that by Rusev and Nakamura, and I see myself. You guys beat up on you two guys beat up on on Roman Reigns on on your your first year um coming into WWE, and the whole you know you know the whole three on one of the club you know AJ Styles 
Gallus and Anderson beat up on John Cena. You know, remember the whole beat up John Cena thing? Like, who the fuck's writing this shit? That made no fucking sense. And why would they care about our truth anyways? Gallus and Anderson. Oh, because because the baby faces. Garbage. Garbage um, writing. Who the f Again, who's fucking writing this shit? So Nakamura comes up. And Nakamura uh, takes obsession of what, of what they said. And basically, um, Anderson and Gallus challenges, challenges Rusev and Nakamura to a match. Nakamura accepts for, uh, on behalf of himself and, and Rusev. And then Rusev said to Nakamura, I'll team up with you, uh, but but don't screw me. So yeah, Rusev and Nakamura are our tag team. After they um feuding um since um December and then you know for, for January, you know, which um I'm assuming that that's the end of that's the end of their feud from um the, the pre show. So after they've been feuding for two months for the United States Championship and you know the whole team of uh, Lana getting hurt and all that, believe Nakamura and everything. Now they're also their team. They need to get out. They need to get out at this point. They de they deserve better than this. The fact that Nakamura lost the belt two nights ago, uh, you know, uh, against our truth. <clears throat> well, I won't say two nights ago. Two, two nights later, uh, after the on um, the Royal pre, you know, at the window on uh, the at the Royal pre show. So, two nights later, after all, uh, Nakamura losing that belt and Rusev, um, come, and it's nothing. Rusev turned heel. They they turned Rusev heel. This company doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. This is the, this is the treatment that uh, they're, they're treating their, their talents right now. And it, it is no wonder why they, they want to leave. Rusev one point one on the leave, and the WWE did not did not grant his um his release. Same thing with the revival right now. Same thing with Maria and, and Mike Kennels right now. <clears throat> and it's no wonder why Dean Ambrose wants to leave too. By the way. This company doesn't know what, uh, how to treat their, their talents right. Yeah, I'm listening. So Shimmer Man and the Miz, they they celebrate the tag team win, uh, a win of uh, becoming tag team champions, and they had the dad with them. Yeah, I mean, I mean, not 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 Vince, uh, but you know, just Miz's dad. And 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 now and these crowds were chanting, "You deserve it to Shimmer Man and the Miz, who just teamed up," you know, to, uh, back in December. Was it this time? Oh, no, shit. Oh, they, 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 I mean, um, since January, I meant to say. Damn. And by the way, folks, I'm doing uh, this, this recording of it uh, on the, on the, uh, um, on the February. So, that, which, which, which is why I'm, I'm saying what I'm saying. But, these cross chain, you deserve to shame it, man, in the midst. Who hasn't been teaming up for, for that long? <laughs> like, like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? So then, all of a sudden, they made a match uh, for all these four teams to face each other to uh, to, to see who's going to face them at at Nipsey Chamber for the titles. And then we get, uh, and then uh, I'll get to I'll get to them momentarily. But then we get to Mandy Rose and Serena Deville. They they decided to uh, declare themselves into the Nipsey Chamber match for the uh, women's tag team titles. And I say to myself, wait a minute. So on Raw, you had these women's uh, had you had to fight for to qualify into the into the match. But then we get to SmackDown, Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville, they, they just all, you know, declare themselves to just be in the match. That made no fucking sense. You, you, you see what I'm talking about? You see, this is what I'm talking about here with, with WWE. They don't, they, they don't know how to write shit. They, they, they don't know how to make anything uh, make any sense. And then this may, and then, and then make it even worse. Mandy Rose is being asked by, I, I think it was uh, Killer Braxton who interviewed her. And she asked uh, Mandy Rose. Uh, why you know she's um talking um on uh, Naomi? Like so that, like that, like she that. explained why, right. and they showed a clip of her um uh, when she wasn't tough enough, and uh, Naomi was uh was uh I mean a cameo person there, and you know basically insulting her and saying that she's weak, and this um and this and the and the um had many roles um you know cry at one point and and depressed when it led to her boyfriend yeah, leaving her. I'm like, what the fuck that. is this? And I'm like, well. I guess you could say, you know, in the way she, it makes sense why she's doing what she's doing to Naomi because Naomi is married to Jimmy Uso and trying to ruin their marriage and everything. Die. But at the same time, like, really? So, and, and it made no sense because, because Mandy Rose's character is that, you know, she could have any 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 uh, man she wants because of her looks. 
Why the fuck does, oh, would she care about her boyfriend leaving her? Just, uh, whatever. So that that's why they're doing. That's why Mandy Rose is um is uh, in this feud against Naomi, which is fucking garbage. The Bar versus the Usos versus the Heavy Machinery versus the New Day. New Day got eliminated first. And by, yo, so it was elimination rules, by the way. And then Heavy Machinery, yo, Heavy Machinery got eliminated, and then the Bar got eliminated. So yo, the Usos won the match. So yeah, they're new, more, they're new, no more contenders against Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan for the title at yo know, at Elimination Chamber. And then, and then we get the, the closing of, of the show. Daniel Bryan, the WWE Champion, come out and talks talk about how you know. Oh, who won the Rumble? And the fans were chanting for Becky. And then, and then Dan Brown was like, "No." He's like, "You know," he said. <laughs> he said, "Um, he won." Um, I guess he met you know winning the um the, the uh, at the at the Red Rumble pay per view, you know, for still being the WWE champion. And then Danny Bryan says something about he, he's he's the Plants champion. Um, and he talks about how. AJ Styles at one point told him that he's a hypocrite uh, of being WWE champion or whatever, something like that. And then he says, yeah, and, and he's like, he's right because um because this WWE championship title belt that he's that he's got, you know, it's made of leather, you know, and all that. And it was it's from uh, it was from um a cow named Daisy. <clears throat> uh, he's going for his SJW. His, 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 he's going he's going for his SJW uh promo there. You know. Oh yeah. Who's that guy from the Pirates of the, Pirates of the Caribbean that has the octopus face? Anyone know his name? David Jones, who wants to watch me fight him? Because I'm actually fighting him right now. Alright, so... So Danny Bryan brings out Eric, uh, Eric Rowan. Which he's not going by... He's going by the name of Rowan. Oh yeah, it is David Jones. So Danny Bryan throws away the, the WWE Championship belt that he, that, that, that he once had. And he threw it in, into the into the garbage, you know, which is good. Basically, he, he did he did he did um um a Medusa. Um, he threw the belt into the trash, you know, which that belt that W belt um that that W has got right now, you know, with the big W and all that, it's garbage. It is it is garbage. And then Bryan brings out a new belt that that uh, that Rowan had in his on his bag. And and his belt is made out of of wood. Um, earthstone. Um, basically, um, it's not made of leather anymore. It's not. I'm trying to remember uh, how how uh, how how else it was made of too, but I like you know what? If it's Dan Bryan's character, you know, is um is it basically look all beige, um brown, brown colors and all that. I you know, it, in a way, it kind of looks unique. Um. And you know, if it's if it's his character too, because Danny Bryan's character is all about the environment. He's all about the planet. He's all about being a, a social justice warrior. So, and all, all I gotta say is about time that Danny Bryan's got uh, a belt like that, because you know he's he's a real life vegan. You know, because you know the whole thing of you know his towel belt is made of leather, and he's not a real vegan because of that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so also it just starts comes out. Uh, he he starts talking. Randy Orton comes out to interrupt. He starts I talking, want that too. and then um, Jeff Hardy comes out, and then Mustafa Ali comes out. He starts talking. He got interrupted by Randy Orton. By you know, did you get did you get beat by the by a girl at the Rumble, whatever? I'm like, great. Well, wait to uh, the bury uh, Mustafa Ali right there. And then Smojo comes out, and he starts talking about you know Randy Orton, Jeff Hardy, Mustafa Ali, uh, Dan Bryan, and they and they start all the Edge Styles. Um, how's Wendy doing? You know his wife, AJ Styles' wife. <laughs> AJ Styles, uh, and also uh, uh, a brawl starts breaking out between Joe and Styles, and then everyone starts fighting except for Diane Bryan and, and Rowan. And Diane Bryan was like, you know, like no one deserves a shot at this title. And then also Triple H comes out on, on top of Tron and says, "No, you're wrong. They all deserve the title. So it's going to be Diane Bryan defending the WWE Championship against all of them inside of the Elimination Chamber at Elimination Chamber, and that's how the show ends. So there you go, and that was SmackDown. Yeah, for for of what of what I saw uh, from the beginning, and then the rest of it I saw um, from the highlights because I was so pissed off about what they did to Nakamura. So talking about wrestling for SmackDown, there were only three matches, folks. Isn't that a little extreme? There were like there were literally three matches on the show because one of them all uh, didn't happen, and and two of them was uh, was uh, was uh, was uh, was, bu- was uh, booked uh, like like a uh, full. Like, 
two of them was just book um you know were both were bullshit. You know. And and both of them ended up with uh, with R Truth winning winning against Nakamura and Rusev on that on that night. And again, this had this had nothing to do with R Truth. It's how it's just how, uh, how this is how WWE has been booking their shows. Uh, and you know, and booking their talents. So yeah, there were only three matches on the show. Oh, yeah, so and like so I said, I the two matches, uh, like I said before, they were they were they were, they were, they were um absolute fucking bullshit. But the one match, um, you know, it it did, uh, went, went long. And one match never shit. happened because um because um Remister Jr. was attacked by Andre Cena. Like, if you really look at so, it, the Kingdom Hearts version is actually better, better graphics. So my overall strength for the show, because when they did Nakamura on that show, this show gets a fucking zero out of ten. So, that being said, thank you all for watching. It's over 9,000! It's Natural Born Thriller saying, peace on the streets. Fuck WWE for that bullshit.